Hello everyone, my name is Lwoski Kamba and I'm a Herbert H. Humphrey Fellow at Penn State University. I'm here to talk about my country, Zambia. Zambia is a country found in Southern Africa and I work for an institution known as the National Institute of Public Administration as Assistant Registrar in charge of quality and risk assurance. I'll begin by telling you uh, the location of my country, Zambia. Uh, Zambia is found in the heart of Southern Africa. Uh, it is a country that is uh, landlocked and surrounded by a number of neighbors. So Zambia has a size of 752,614 square kilometers, uh, which is about 290, 586 square miles. Uh, this is equivalent to the size of Germany, Austria, Belgium, Netherlands, Switzerland, and Hungary combined. So it's a fairly big uh, country. And the country is mostly high, it's, it's a high plateau with uh, many hills and mountains. Zambia has got a long history. Um, the history can go back to uh, the Stone Age period. Uh, there were inhabitants of the land, uh, as well as the Iron Age period, where we had thriving African kingdoms uh, existing before the coming in of uh, the British uh, who colonized the country. So the colonial rule came through the British South African Company, which was, um, which was owned by John Cecil Rhodes uh, from 1899 to 1924, and the British uh, colonial uh, government took over from 1924 to 1964 when the country got independence. Uh, so the country of Zambia celebrates its independence on 24th of October of every year because its official date of independence was on 24th October 1964. In terms of the government, um, we do have a constitutional democracy because the constitution is the supreme law of the land. And we have uh, a presidential, we can say we are a presidential republic uh, because the president um, is uh, the national leader. So just like in the United States, we've got three organs of government, which include the executive headed by the president. Then we have the legislature, uh, which is unicameral, meaning that we only have one house of parliament. Then we do have the judiciary uh, ranging from the local courts, which is like the lowest court, up to the Supreme Court, and the constitutional court. These are the two highest courts that we have. The country is divided in 10 provinces. We do not have states, but we call our administrative areas as uh, provinces. So in terms of the currency, our currency is known as the kwacha. Uh, kwacha means a, uh, the new dawn. Uh, this was uh, a slogan which was used during the fight for independence, and uh, that was adopted as the name of the currency by our founding fathers and mothers. The highest note is the is 100 kwacha. Um, then uh, we do have some coins. So we have uh, 10 ingwe, 15 ingwe, uh, then we have 5 ingwe, and 1 kwacha. Zambia is endowed by, with rich natural resources. Uh, we do have a number of national parks um, that you can uh, go to and enjoy. Uh, some of the national parks include South Luangwa. Other natural resources are lakes, such as the Bwangaulu, which is like one of like the most spectacular water bodies that we have in the country. Uh, this is found in the north of uh, the country. Then we have other uh, uh, waterfalls, such as the Chishimba Falls, found in the north. Uh, we have the Kalambo Falls, um, which is also a Stone Age site, where uh, a number of like Stone Age uh, tools were found, which proves that uh, uh, human existence uh, go back way back uh, in the history of the country. Uh, the Kundalila Falls is another uh, attraction or uh, natural resource uh, that we are blessed with as a country. Then we have other falls such as the Lumungwe Falls, which is found in the north in Kawambwa. Then we have uh, one of the uh, our uh, one of the seven wonders of the world, uh, known as the Mosotunya or Victoria Falls. This is uh, the biggest waterfalls in the country. 
and uh, a very famous tourist attraction. You can see that there are many activities that you can do when you visit the Victoria Falls, such as uh, going on the microlight uh, to just view the falls from, from the skies. Zambia is blessed with uh, rich wildlife. Uh, we have different wildlife such as giraffes, uh, we have hippos, we have hyenas, we have elephants, we have lions. So uh, our school system begins with early childhood education, uh, which may be called kindergarten or nursery. Then uh, uh, you, uh, you proceed to primary education, which is from the first grade up to the seventh grade. So this is like seven years uh, of primary education. Then uh, you, you go on to secondary education, which is divided between junior secondary and senior secondary. Uh, junior secondary starts from the eighth grade up to the ninth grade. Then senior secondary uh, goes from the 10th grade up to the 12th grade. Then after that, you proceed to tertiary education where you can go to a college or a university, uh, depending on your, uh, your performance at uh, at secondary level and your preference. Uh, so in terms of uh, the population and the people, uh, our population as estimated in 2019 is about 18 million. Um, the census uh, was supposed to take place last year, uh, but I'm sure it will, due to the COVID, uh, it, will, it should be taken uh, uh, later, maybe in the year or in future. Um, then we have 70 ethnic, more than 70 ethnic groups uh, are found in, in Zambia. Uh, each with its own culture, uh, its own dialect. Um, so that kind of reflects the diversity of our country. And these different uh, ethnic groups practice different traditions and customs some of them which are similar, but others kind of are unique. Uh, we have ceremonies that are celebrated and famous ones include the Nchwala, uh, which is celebrated by the Ngoni people in the eastern part of the country. Then we have uh, ceremonies such as the Chakwela Makumbi, uh, which is uh, celebrated by the Soli. This is a ceremony where um, they pray for the rains uh, before the rainy seasons. Then we have uh, the Tumbuka and their uh, Vimbuza dance, which is more like a healing dance. Uh, so there are different dresses, and I'll just give an example of uh, uh, the Lozi in the West, uh, where uh, they have this dress for men known as the Siziba. Uh, so you can see that uh, the men wear a skirt, um, a waistcoat, and they have a hat, and you can wear that with a bow tie uh, if you want. So the male dress is known as the siziva, and the, and the female dress is called the misisi. So you can see the lady there, who is my mother, uh, wearing her, uh, her misisi uh, during an event. Uh, so that's another uh, example we can see of a misisi worn by uh, Lozi women. Um, so the other uh, attractions um, you can go to is the Lusaka Museum. And this is like the national museum where you can learn more about the culture, about the history and heritage of the country. Uh, so this was taken on the, uh, during Independence Day and I took my son to an exhibition in the museum. So it's a good place to just gain knowledge about the country's heritage, the country's customs, and so on and so forth. So we've got a uh, different type of food uh, that people eat. Um, some are Western, but I'll talk more about the main traditional uh, food that people eat in my country. Uh, so our staple food is Nshima, which is made from cornmeal or maize and it can be eaten with meat and vegetables, uh, and that's a meal uh, which I enjoy, uh, with T-bone and um, some vegetables, very healthy. Uh, the the T-bone is grilled and not fried, 
and the vegetables are boiled um, and the other vegetables are mixed with groundnuts. So you can see chicken stew, uh, which is uh, uh, some prefer it boiled. Then we uh, dry our fish and cook it. Uh, we also eat uh, offals, uh, which are instant in intestines uh, for, for cow. Uh, so that's uh, a delicacy for us. Uh, some people in different regions, uh, like in the north, uh, do eat caterpillar. But this has uh, actually become very famous. Uh, many people who prefer uh, to taste different uh, uh, dishes from different regions uh, do eat uh, caterpillar, which is known as finkubala uh, in Bemba, one of uh, the languages uh, in Zambia. We love our vegetables. So the vegetables can be mixed. So you've got the greens uh, being mixed with other types of vegetables. Okra is also uh, one vegetable that is loved and that's how it's prepared. You can cook it and others prefer to fry it. I am married. Uh, my wife's name is Shupiwe and, and we have uh, one child, a son, uh, by the name of Wutemwe. Wutemwe is one year, uh, seven months now. Uh, I love his name. Uh, his name means love. Uh, we need a lot of love uh, to make the world better. And I thought uh, my son's name uh, will remind us of how important it is to love each other and to just exude love in whatever we do. Um, generally, uh, Zambia uh, believes in the community. We are more of a community. We, we love family, um, not only the nuclear family. We believe that the extended family is important. So uh, families of my brothers and sisters, my cousins, it's, it's still family uh, to me. We do a lot of things together and uh, that extended family is more of a social safety net that has been devised for years. And uh, uh, it's from the extended family where help is, is, is found in terms of sickness, um, in terms of uh, preparation for things like weddings and other ceremonies, uh, there seems to be this strong sense of community uh, that is emphasized in our culture. And this doesn't only extend to uh, relatives that uh, you are related to by blood, but even within uh, a community uh, with people who are not related to you, that uh, family community spirit is very much promoted. Similar to what I see in State College, uh, where people are friendly, they are warm, they are able to say hello. So that's very familiar uh, to me because that's what you get when you come to my country. There is a lot of warmth. We believe in that. We believe in helping and reaching out. Uh, in terms of an uh, everyday uh, life and how it may look, uh, usually for people who work like myself, um, in the morning, uh, work begins at eight, so you would have to start preparing for work before that. Uh, have to be ready by at least seven to beat the traffic, seven a.m. to beat the traffic. Uh, then eight to about five p.m., uh, you you have to be at work. Then knock off, go back to family, uh, have spent some time with with your children. In this case, my son. Um, then you get to rest on weekends. Uh, so Saturday, uh, you get to uh, rest if you can, or maybe do some community work. Uh, in my case, if I have some church activities that I need to attend to, uh, I usually volunteer my time to just uh, give out my time to my church and, uh, and any other activity to do with my family. Then Sunday, a lot of people go to church as Christianity is like the main religion. Um, after church, uh, you have a meal uh, with family. Uh, if you want to eat from home, you would eat from home, or if you want to eat out, uh, you can go out and uh, eat uh, from uh, a restaurant. Uh, but in most cases, uh, people prefer to have their home cooked meal uh, because they think that is more healthy and it's more engaging with family and uh, gives you some time to just spend time and just enjoy each other. 
in terms of transportation, uh, it depends. Um, uh, we do have quite a number of buses, and these buses are owned by individuals. Uh, it's not like uh, most of the buses that are owned by companies are buses that take long um, uh, trips outside the province. Um, but most of the buses within a district are usually owned by private individuals. And uh, so people can take buses uh, or if you have a car, uh, you would take, uh, you would travel around uh, with your personal vehicle. Um, so the buses that we have are kind of different from what you have here. Like, well, you can start a business, uh, a, a transport business, if you decide to, because uh, the business, uh, the transport business is very privatized. So um, this is our national flag. There are a number of people that are in business to do with crafts. So if you happen to visit our country, you'll notice that uh, people are able to make different uh, uh, art products uh, from uh, uh, the different types of wood. And uh, so this is like one of my favorite uh, artifact, uh, which is like the map of Africa. And uh, so my country is somewhere in between. Like I said, it's in the southern part. It's in the heart of Southern Africa. So Zambia is found uh, here. In terms of dressing, like you saw uh, from the pictures uh, where we have like different uh, kind of dresses, uh, it depends uh, because of uh, maybe Western uh, kind of uh, dressing or influence. Uh, people are able to wear suits. Uh, at work, uh, which is like formal kind of dressing. Uh, but you can also wear your traditional dress. Um, so like this shirt that I'm wearing is made from a fabric which is which we call chitenge. chitenge. If you want, you can design it depending on how you want it. So uh, you can have like some modern touch to it. So this fabric known as chitenge was designed um, and you are able to make uh, this short sleeved shirt which can be formal if, uh, uh, if you want to wear it, say, on Friday, uh, and wear it with uh, a, trouser, a pair of trousers, um, which is, yeah, like more Western. It depends with people's preference. Uh, traditional attire uh, made from chitenge usually are very popular, and people are able to wear that, especially women. Uh, and even men now, and uh, there is also this uh, popularity actually in terms of uh, making clothes from uh, chitenge uh, materials. So this is very famous. You see a lot of men wearing uh, such uh, shirts, uh, which are short or some can be uh, long sleeved. So you design it depending on your preference. There isn't really a particular pattern in terms of how your shirt should look uh, in, in, in most cultures in Zambia. Uh, grandparents, grandmothers, grandfathers are seen to be a source of wisdom. So it's very common for children uh, to be closer to their grandparents to gain wisdom. That's very important and it's emphasized uh, um, for children to get to know their grandparents, uh, either their grandmother or grandfather, to get guidance about life, to get wisdom about life. And uh, without the elders, um, it's very difficult to actually know some of the norms, uh, some of the uh, values that are important or that have been kept for a long time that you may need uh, for, uh, for use in your future life. Uh, I would like to thank you so much, everyone, for listening uh, to me uh, and for paying attention to my presentation on my country, Zambia. I hope to see you when you come to Zambia. Please visit Zambia.